Okay, so I've just bought this 48 centimeter SD card extension cable. Uh, so it's for micro SD cards for the Pi. Uh, you can see I've got a micro SD card in there uh, and this is the bit that goes into the Pi. And the idea is if you have an inaccessible SD card slot, say it's in a laptop uh, or you've got it in a case where you can't get to it, then you can use this. Uh, and I thought I'd speed test it today. So let's just plug it in. So it's this way up. There you go, that's plugged in. So 48 centimeters is quite long, um, but uh, I guess what you would do is you would secure it somewhere rather than have it loose like this. But let's see if this boots up and also do a speed test on this and see if the cable slows down the OS. Okay, so I've booted up with my cable in and uh, unfortunately this happens. Uh, now, I've tried it loads of times and uh, I've tried it with uh, Raspberry Pi OS. This is Twister OS and it boots fine from the SD card but it does this weird stuff uh, when you boot with the extension cable so I'm going to try and boot it a few times in fact I'm going to switch over to SD card and see if that boots okay so you can see it looks fine uh, and it's booted up with just the SD card in uh, I'll run the speed test just in case I get it going uh, so where was it under accessories diagnostics and let's run this test Okay, so it's passed. Let's show the log. So 32,000, 3705. Yeah, so the speed test is great. Uh, this is the A2 Kingston card. So one of my fastest cards. So let's save that. Okay, so let's try. I'll try plugging it in with the cable and see if I can get it to work again. Okay, so it's booting up now. I often get an error, uh, a red error. Yeah, failed to start. Although it looks like it might have gone past it this time. weird because it's obviously reading something I can see the SD card light is flashing fine um, but uh, by now I'd have start I, I would have seen uh, a bit of an interface starting up and the green light has stopped flashing now so this is another reboot and it stopped at this point so if I eject the card you can see this happen so it looked like it was trying to still read the card even though the green light wasn't on I'm going to put it back in again And it's still not, yeah, it's still doing something weird. But yeah, that's not working, so let's unplug. Okay, so this is with the SD card again, and as you can see, it's booted up fine. So I'm going to shut down and try and boot with the cable again. Okay, so I've tried to boot without the cable plugged in, but now I'm going to plug it in. Because this would work with an SD card, and see if I can get it to work that way. So it's detected it, looks like it's starting up. Yeah, still gets that failed. So once again, multiple times I've tried it with the cable, still can't get it to work. So I'm gonna try a different OS uh, and see if I can get that to work with the cable. So let's shut this down. Okay, so I've managed to get it to boot with Raspberry Pi OS. So I think I'm gonna continue the experiment on this because what seems to happen is when it goes wrong with the cable, it never lights the cable again but it still doesn't mind using the SD card slot. So with that theory in mind, let's try this. So uh, Raspberry Pi Diagnostics. So ignore the previous speed test because that was on a different card. This is on a 16 gig uh, SanDisk card, uh, just a normal card, nothing fancy. So let's hit run tests, cross our fingers. So soon, I'll oh know if it's fair. Yeah, it looks like it's taken a bit longer which often means that it's failed because it's then running a second test and then a third test. But that might happen on this card anyway, because this is just a standard, it's not an A1 card. So it's definitely going to fail. But the interesting bit will be what happens when I boot it from the ordinary SD card slot to see if that works. Okay, so fail. Let's see how much it failed by. So past that, the random write speed is very low at 286, 291 and 306 so i think i'm going to do that test again let's just save that though reset and run tests again okay so another fail let's see how similar that is to my other one so this is the first one in the less bold font uh, so it's around about the same isn't it 
12954 309 286 14 yeah so so pretty bad uh 306 291 so i think i'm just going to stick with the first lot of tests anyway and i'm going to try and reboot it with it with the sd card still in the cable and see if that still works out of interest because i think it's almost like the cable it lets it do it once and then it doesn't let it do it again is it going to come up with an error? Oh, that looks all right. So that's booted fine. This is this is very strange, right? So I think I'll do another speed test. So again, this is with the uh, card in the cable. Okay, so fail. Let's see if it's pretty much the same as before. Yeah, there's not much difference in it. Right, so I won't bother saving that one. I'm going to shut down. And I'm going to try rebooting with uh, Twister OS because that wasn't working before, but now the Pi's been working for a bit. Let's try it. Okay, so it definitely doesn't like Twister OS with the cable. Uh, when it did successfully boot much earlier on, uh, the first boot and the uh, restart and the software update, I did all of that on Twister OS and uh, everything was working, but now it's doing this thing where it just stops. So I'm going to reboot with Twister OS in the S. Oh, it's trying something. No, it does this and then stops. Reboot with Twister OS uh, in the SD card slot. So it's rebooting, no errors in the SD card slot, and it starts up fine. This is really strange. So I'm going to try. I wonder if this has got something to do with overclocking because I did overclock, and I'm not sure if that came at the same time. So I've switched Pis. Uh, I was using my aluminium uh, DeSalvo case Pi, which is a Pi 4 first gen. Uh, and I switched Pis because I wondered if there was a problem uh, with incompatibility or anything like that, but it doesn't seem to have made much difference. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn off, yeah, set to default, yes. Okay, so rebooting Twister OS with the cable without overclock didn't come up with an error. So is there a possibility that this cable uses significantly more power, uh, so I need to up the over voltage maybe? Okay, so it's booted up, it's in the cable, uh, everything seems to be working okay. Uh, I already have a previous result of this, uh, which is here, rpdiags.txt. So let's have that on the screen and let's run this diagnostics test uh, and see what happens. So run tests. So it's a pass, that's great. Through the cable, that's a pass. So this is the test. So let's have a look. Three, three, slightly faster on the right speed, uh, slightly slower on the random read speed and uh, slightly slower, slightly slower on the ra random write speed and slightly slower on the random read speed. But if you use Raspberry Pi diagnostics, it does go up and down uh, with DOS. Uh, and so I would say that's pretty much the same. That's that's enough the same that it's not affecting the performance. It's just what's causing it to. Let's just run it one more time. It's just what's causing it to to randomly not boot. And if it's randomly not booting when you overclock uh, or you use does it need more power so the cable itself is is very cool there's no there's no temperature to it um, but as it's a longer cable is it going to take more power and that's why it doesn't work yet so it's passed again everything's working fine and getting it near to it 3768 so slightly slower on the sequential write speed the random write speed is the same and the random read speed is faster. So I could pretty much safely say that it doesn't affect the speed, but I definitely need to know, uh, I need to do more tests as to why, actually I need to save that, don't I? I definitely need to do more tests as to why uh, it sometimes fails to boot uh, because that is, that is very odd. Uh, so it was that one. Let's pop it in there, and I'll make it. I'll make it neater, uh, and I'll do it for the description. 
Okay, so uh, the Pi is still working fine uh, with this cable without overclock. So I think that was the issue. Uh, so what I need to do is do more tests with uh, maybe over voltage and overclocking as to see uh, if you just need to up that level. It's something similar I had to the 8 gig Pi. So when I got the 8 gig Pi, I would apply the same overclock uh, 2147 but with an over voltage of 6 and I would get certain operating systems would cut out uh, and it would crash whereas when I put it up to over voltage 8 it coped with it so maybe I need to look into something similar to that for the cable but that's probably for another video so the reason that I was uh, I bought this cable I'll put an Amazon link in the description uh, I, I'm guessing it probably is okay but if I find out anything different I'll put it in the description if I'm getting any issues then I'll put that in the description uh, as a little update but uh, but yeah it seems to be working fine now uh, so the reason I mainly got it was because uh, 52 Pi reached out to me and they're sending me one of these racks. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, uh, but I also mentioned it in Pi News episode four. But the reason being is that the SD card slot is here on the Pi 4. Uh, and so I'm gonna need some way, uh, and this ribbon, yeah, it does bend up quite quickly, so I don't think it's going to be too close to the fan, but I'll see when I get it. Uh, or maybe the Pi 4 can be moved around on this rack. It looks like there's loads of little holes and things, doesn't it? So maybe there are other ways of doing it. But I was figuring that uh, if I use this rack and I wanted to use SD card, I mean, the other option is that I use uh, USB out and have hard drives or SSDs on the different shelves uh, which uh, and kept cool by that lovely fan. Um, so yeah, that, that was my plan. So I was going to have the SD card slot accessible and uh, it was looking like this uh, case could be a good companion for it. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.